Shores. Yes. So can you see my slides? Yes, we can. OK, perfect. So yeah, hello, everyone. My name is Hong Yi, and I'm also a PhD student supervised by Jan and uh, Helena. So today I'm very happy to be here to present my uh, recent research, which is the uh, how to apply deep reinforced learning algorithms in the dynamic environment. Yeah. So I think I would like to first give you a basic concept of feelings about the, the reinforced learning. So, so far uh, in machine learning algorithms or methods, we have three different uh, categories. The first is absolutely supervised learning. Uh, in supervised learning, we have uh, the data, including the X and also the label Y. And the goal of supervised learning is basically learn a function which can map the data X to the, the, the label, yes. And we have quite a lot of uh, application examples which uh, apply the supervised learning, including the classification, uh, regression, object detection, and uh, semantic segmentation and image caption, et cetera. Yeah. And the second category is unsupervised learning. Uh, in this kind of method, we will only need uh, the, the single data, the data X, and only X is provided, we don't need any label. And the goal of this method is basically learn some underlying hidden structure of the data. So we have the example like the clustering, dimensionality reduction, feature learning, and density estimation, etc. Yeah. But we now, today, we have a, a new category, which is called the reinforced learning. And the problem of reinforced learning is to involve, it is involving the agent which is interacting with the environment, and that environment can provide the numeric reward signals. And basically, the goal of this method is to learn how to take actions uh, in order to maximize the reward that can be obtained by the agent. Yeah. So today, I would like to first present the basic concept of reinforced learning. And I would like to introduce from the basic uh, uh, the reinforced learning algorithm, which is the Q-learning to uh, the deep reinforced learning uh, algorithm, which is the DQN um, algorithm. And I will also try to summarize my recent research, which we have developed two different uh, mechanisms based on the uh, DQN to improve the algorithm's training efficiency and also make it to uh, uh, converge faster and deliver uh, better action decision making. Yeah. So here is a diagram for the basic reinforced learning uh, uh, methods. So basically, the agent will uh, at this at one of the states, and then based on that state, it will perform the action. The action will then go to the environment. The environment will okay uh, what kind of a action that agent did. So it will return the reward value, and then and also the next state uh, next state. And then the, all of the, those steps will be repeated again. The, based on the next day, the agent will perform another action which can uh, let, uh, the, let the agent to obtain the maximum future reward values. And again and again and again. Yeah. So we have several uh, classic applications here which apply reinforced learning. And the first is Atari, Atari game. The objective of the Atari game is to complete the game with the highest score. So it is the perfect uh, the scenario for reinforced learning to fulfill their goal. Yeah, the state in the Atari game is to is the raw pixel input of the game state. Uh, we can select the different actions, including the game controls, uh, namely left, right, and up and down. And the reward is the score increase and decrease at each of the time step. The second example is the goal game. So the goal game is also quite a classic and interesting scenario for reinforced learning. The objective here is to win the entire game, and the state in this scenario is the position of all pieces. And the action is you can perform the location of the next piece. And the reward is basically one uh, or a high reward if the agent win at the end of the game, or otherwise uh, it will uh, get nothing if it moves. Yeah. 
So here is uh, the basic, uh, quite a foundational uh, algorithm for the reinforced learning, which is the which is called Q-learning here. Yeah, for Q-learning, we, ba we 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 basically we have a, a Q-table. The Q-table is calculated based on the the Q-function, which I uh, listed below. And the goal of the agent is to perform the action and calculate the, the, the future Q reward values and then mapping the states and action pairs with the, the next the Q values and uh, fill it in the in the Q table. Yes. And at the right, right hand side, I have uh, performed uh, one of the, the diagram for how to perform the Q learning algorithms. So first the agent will initialize the Q table and then it will choose an action, the perform action, measure reward, and update the Q uh, value table. Yes. And this step will be repeated again, again, again. And until at the end of the training, the agent will 